traders, FS Perkletti here. Today is Friday, August 30th, and I'm going to be analyzing the pound US dollar starting on the monthly, working my way all the way down to the one hour time frame for the full top down analysis. So, on the pound dollar, I'm still looking at this as very likely going up to make an expanding flat wave C, which would likely take out these previous highs. It could possibly be a running flat wave C, which would make a lower high, likely turning at like the 123.6. Either way, it should lead to a pretty good uptrend that we're still in the middle of on sort of time frames. Going down to the weekly time frame, I still think this first move up over here is a wave one. I think this is like a running flat wave two. I think that would make this all subdivisions of a wave three, so like a wave one. A W X Y wave 2, and I still think that we're in this wave 3. I still think we have a lot of upside potential, and the fact that we're going down on sort of time frames is actually great news for us, because that should give us a chance to go long at the end of these pullbacks. So going down to the daily time frame, we definitely did break down a little bit, as you can see. I mean, the trend is possibly still up. The fact that it broke down, you know, might just be telling us that it's actually just getting ready to make a bigger, more significant pullback before it actually does go up which for me is great news because I always look at pullbacks as exciting because I'm not trading the pullback but I know that at the end of the pullback I will definitely get a chance to go long again for the continuation of this bigger uptrend on the higher time frames going down to the four hour time frame we definitely got a breakdown I think this is likely a wave A which I'm still not even really convinced is over yet eventually we will make a move to the upside but that move to the upside will likely be a crutch into the wave A wave B then probably back down again for a wave C. I think that we should get at least a 38% pullback, and it possibly could even pull back quite a bit more than that. Going down to the one hour time frame, we definitely don't have a break of structure to the upside yet. I think this is all a wave A. I think that we possibly could get more movement down, you know, maybe end up looking something like this, going down to like the 23% before we start the real move to the upside for a wave B. So, you know, you get impulsive down wave A, corrective up wave B, which the wave B should be a crutch into the wave A. So once it does break to the upside, you can throw your Fibonacci retracement on here and you can look for three waves up for the wave B, possibly a Fibonacci bounce for the continuation back down for the bigger wave C like what I was showing on the higher time frames. So don't forget to join my free Discord channel which is linked down here in the corner and as always, thank you and happy trading.